cuties, welcome back to another tutorial here at inhop76beautychameleon.com. In this video, it is spring is just right around the corner and you guys, I'm sure you're all looking through your um, magazines for color trends and such. Well, I've been looking too and I've been seeing a lot of trends for, you know, bright oranges and just color blocking trends here and there. So I decided to create this look here using some beautiful oranges. Um, I'll be breaking out the Maybelline Color Tattoo, the Fierce and Tangy, and then I have some beautiful shadows I received from Raven Beauty Cosmetics that are gorgeous for this look. I'll be using um, Orange Marmalade, which is a gorgeous shimmery orange. And then to warm up the um, crease of the eye, I'll be using Raven Beauty's Artisan, which is a beautiful semi-satiny matte shadow. And for highlighting, I'll be using the Heavy Cream, which is another nice matte highlight color to clean up the edges. So if you'd like to know how I created this fun, fierce, tangy, orangey look, stay tuned and just keep on watching. All right, beauties, let's get started. First and foremost, you wanna prime those eyelids. And you know I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Once you have that primer on the lid, we're gonna go ahead and use Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow, and the shade is called Fierce and Tangy. Begin starting with your fingertips. Just grab a little bit of that color onto the um, tip of your fingers, and we're gonna to begin to lightly pat the color onto the ball of our eye. Next, using a synthetic brush, I'll be using my Sephora Airbrush Shadow Brush. I'm gonna grab a bit more of the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Fierce and Tangy, and we're gonna take that color and begin to pat it and blend on the eyelid area and then move our way outward to the um, crease area of our eye. This shade is gonna work as a beautiful base for the next colors we're gonna build up upon. Next, using an angled brush, I am gonna take a little bit more of that Fierce and Tangy, tap some on, and then we're gonna apply that color to the inner corner of the eye and on a tear duct area. Again, this color will be used as a base to help build up upon. So once you're finished blending, the um, cream shadow should look just like this. So think of this as our canvas we're working off of. Next, I'm gonna be using a beautiful eyeshadow from Raven Beauty Cosmetics. This is called Orange Marmalade or Marmalade. Using a flat shader brush, I'm gonna to begin to pick up some of Orange Marmalade and apply it to the back of the brush. And we will begin to lightly blend this color over the ball of our eye. You see how this color is really helping by using the Maybelline Color Tattoo, it's really helping this color pop. So we're gonna begin to apply it on the ball of the eye and begin to blend it slightly above the crease area of our eyelid area. And don't forget to apply it to the inner corners of the eye. Using the same color, I'm switching to a eyeliner brush I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the orange marmalade and I'm gonna apply it directly over the Fierce and Tangy. Now it's time to warm up the crease area of our eye. I will be using another shade from Raving Beauty Cosmetics. This is called Artisan. It's a nice semi-matte eyeshadow that'll be a great color to um, blend out the bridge area. Using a crease brush or a dome-shaped fluffy brush, I'm taking a bit of the Artisan onto the brush and we're gonna to begin to apply that area by using a dotting motion on the bridge area of the eye area of our eye. That didn't make any sense, but you guys know what I mean. And what we're gonna do is blend this in short little circular motions so we can end up with a gradient effect from the crease you want it dark and then you want to lightly blend up so that you have a nice gradient effect to the brow bone area of the eye. Continue to blend back and forth in a windshield washing motion in the inner corner of the eye area. Grabbing a bit more of the artisan, we really want to darken up this inner crease area of the eye. So I'm going to go back and again begin to dab in that corner of the eye. And then begin to blend upward. Now that we have the crease area of the eye blended, we're going to take a pencil brush and grab a bit more of Artisan, which is that dark, kind of semi-matte brown, and we're gonna begin to bring that color underneath the lower lash line of our eye. This is really gonna warm it up, 
and create a little bit of depth to this look. You want to blend from the about halfway point and blend to the outer corner. You want to drag that shadow downward and outward. Next, we'll be using a shadow again from Raving Beauty Cosmetics. This one's called Heavy Cream. It's a beautiful matte highlight shade. Using my angle eyeshadow brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of heavy cream and we're going to begin to apply this color to the brow bone area of our eye. So lightly tap it at the peak of the brow bone and we're going to blend it on the outer edge of the eye. And we're going to also take heavy cream toward the inner corner of the eye area and blend out any harsh edges. This will make a nice transition from the brow bone color to your crease color and so on and so forth. Sometimes I like to take that color and kind of clean up along the outer corners of the eye as well. Now to darken up along the lash line, what I recommend doing, I'm going to be using my uh, Whiskey Liner from Urban Decay. This is a 24-7 Glide, and or any dark um, brown liner will do. But all I'm going to do is line the waterline and really close to the lashes. And then move my way out to the outer corner of the crease. And then I'm also going to line just underneath the lash line. This is called tight lining, but I just really want a, a dark brown underneath. You see how that kind of darken up the corners there a bit? I'm also going to line in the inner corner of the eye as well. Now we're going to line the upper lash line. The liner I love to use right now is by L'Oreal. It's their liner intense in black. It has a nice felt tip uh, sharpie point. But we're going to begin to line the upper lash line starting from halfway and then moving our way out. We're going to create a nice wing. And then we're going to begin to create the wing on top and drag it out like so. Make sure we're balanced. But once we have that established, we are going to go ahead and continue to line from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye area. Once we have that complete, um, you can go ahead and add your favorite mascara. Um, what I am going to do, because you guys know I love lashes, so the lashes I'll be using in this tutorial are by Ardell, or excuse me, these are the Andrea Lash, and these are um, the Mod Lash number 33. They're just very thick at the lash line and um, very fun for this type of look. So what I'm going to do is put my lashes on, and then I'll be right back to show you what I did to the rest of my face. So welcome back. Now that we have the lovely springy, orangey, fierce and tangy eye look going on, the next thing I did to complete my face, um, I decided to use my MAC uh, Mineralize Skin Finish Foundation. This is the cream. Remember the one I hauled at the beginning of the year and I thought my color was NC42? Well, I ended up taking it back to MAC because that color was way too light and I ended up getting the NC44. So it's slightly deeper but much better match compared to the other one, but I used it all over my face. Um, to contour highlight type of thing. I don't know if Smashbox carries this anymore, but I really love it. I wish they would bring it back, but they have this in a set. It's their um, Press Powder Bronze Lights Duo, and what I did is use the Press Powder side to um, highlight my face, and then I used the Bronze Light, which is a darker side. Let me take this off. There's a light and a dark side, and I use that to contour along the um, areas of my cheek but that's what I use to help warm up my face and um, balance everything out I basically kind of take the um, darker shade or the contour shade and go along the temple along the jawbone or cheekbone and then along the jaw so I do that for my face um, moving on to the blush I'm gonna break out since I'm in the orange mood <laughs> I'm gonna use my Tarte and this is their Amazonian clay blush in tipsy and I'm gonna just simply use my um, blush brush and apply just a small amount to that area since my eyes are really orange and fierce I don't want too much going on here so I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheek just very lightly just so I have a little color. Um, if you're taking pictures, I definitely would apply more than you would every day. 
But for camera, I'm going to pile this on a little bit more so you can see the color. And I'll get a little closer. It's really pretty. Hopefully you can see that come up on camera. Minus the little brush fall out there. But that's what I use for my cheek. And for my lips, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to take my uh, MAC liner, lip liner. This is called Strip Down. And I'm going to use this to kind of help um, balance out my lips. And I'm basically just filling everything in just so I can have a nice canvas to work off of. I recently did a small MAC haul and um, while I was in exchange and some other things so I guess I'll do another video for you guys if you'd like to see my haul video. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to use on so my lips. Just to see how I kind of just toned it down a little bit because I have very pinky lips and this is perfect for my skin tone. I really love this pencil. I don't know why I've been waiting so long to use it but I love it. For my lips. Stick. I'm going to use my Revlon Color Burst, not the Color Burst but Butter ones, don't like those, but just a regular Revlon Color Burst, and this shade is called Petal. I just want a little bit of color, not too much, and then for my gloss, I am going to use, this is like my favorite color right now, but this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Glosses in Sunset Peach. And since my lips are already full, I'm not going to apply this all over my entire lip. So for those of you who already have full lips, just apply it toward the center of the lip. Just to give them a little bit of dimension. But for those of you that have smaller shaped lips, definitely apply it all over because gloss is very shiny and it creates a, a, a bigger, fuller appearance lip. But that is pretty much the look. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. It's been a while since I posted a tutorial up, but if you'd like to have a rundown list of everything I use in this tutorial, um, you can go over to my blog and the link to my blog for this video will be in the information box below. And um, there you'll see everything I use. There'll be links to everything I use too if you're curious to know where I got them from. But as always, I hope you all enjoy this video and to the next one, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.